Most of us would like this year to be over, but what if there's a hidden gift in 2020 that many of us are missing? Hey friends, this is Pastor Ron with a special Thanksgiving message of hope. In their attempts to civilize us, our parents taught us to say thank you. When somebody gave us a gift, did something nice for us, or maybe gave us a compliment, we did the same with our kids. What do you say is not a question. It's a universal parental prompt. Okay, kid, don't embarrass me here. Please say thank you. Are you gonna make me look really bad? It's good and right that parents teach their kids to say thank you. But if we're not careful, we can begin to cultivate a mindset that we only give thanks in the midst of good things, or for good things. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Apostle Paul says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Notice that he says, give thanks in all circumstances. If I were to ask you what have been the best years of your life, I imagine you can name a few. 1982 is top on my list. It was the year I married the love of my life. And then Lynn and I moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma to start seminary at ORU. And the Cardinals won the World Series after a 15 year drought. It was an amazing year. Same for 1986, it was the year our first child was born. 1988 brought us to Cape Girardeau and LaCroix began. But what about 2020? I don't think this one's gonna make my top 10. Okay, it's not gonna make my top 60. I'm putting it dead last at 61. Okay, well maybe 1973 was worse because that was the year I got braces, was fighting terrible acne, and the Cardinals finished second to the Mets. But I digress. <laughs> Can we just say, bring on New Year's Eve and goodbye, farewell, and good riddance to 2020? Sure, but what if 2020 has something to give us? that a good year never could. Gratitude is not just about counting your blessings. It's being thankful for imperfect gifts, being grateful in the midst of hard circumstances and jacked up years. Anybody can be thankful when they're on a winning streak. True gratitude is forged in the fires of adversity. Show me a person who can be thankful in 2020 and I'll show you a person of rich, deep character and mature faith. Paul said giving thanks in all circumstances and all years is God's will for us. I think of the Old Testament prophets. Most of them had really hard jobs. They had to preach to stiff-necked people words of impending judgment, and hardly anyone would listen. Habakkuk ministered right before Judah fell to the Babylonian Empire. A day of judgment was coming a foreign army was getting ready to pounce on the nation. And the people, they were spiritually out to lunch. The future was dark. Habakkuk expresses lament and vents his frustration to be sure. But in the end, he speaks words that have inspired God's people for centuries. Listen to this. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. You understand, in an agrarian society, Habakkuk is describing utter calamity and hopelessness. Yet, he chooses to rejoice. How can he do this? He looks to God more than he looks at circumstances. Can I just say honestly, one of the great disappointments for me this year has been how much complaining and blaming I've heard from Christians. I think we've gotten so used to cushy, comfortable living that we feel things going our way is an entitlement. Lord have mercy. Friends, it's time to move on to maturity and take on a new attitude. Yes, 2020 has been a sucky year. I mean, if 2020 was a drink, it would be a colonoscopy prep. People over 50 appreciate that. But if we can be a people of God who echo Habakkuk, we will truly learn thankfulness. Today, it might sound, sound something like this. Though the virus doesn't go away and the promised vaccines fail, though my job is lost and my health falters, Though I never fly again on an airplane or eat inside a restaurant or ever go to a Cardinal baseball game in person again, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior.
With that attitude, maybe 2020 can be redeemed after all. Hey, I've included a link to a new song by Rebecca St. James that expresses some of these thoughts and it really blesses me and I think you might like to hear it as well. Happy Thanksgiving, friends.